Hi everybody and welcome to the first installment of Art with Asha. There's Art with Asha. So we are in a little bit of a strange um, time period right now. We don't know if, uh, if we're going back to school anytime soon. We don't know if anybody's going back to work. We're all kind of in a, a crazy waiting period. So um, as an English teacher once said to me years and years ago, uh, the sun still rises and the sun still sets. And while we are still on this earth, let's make some art and uh, make the best of the time that we have. So hopefully you're not too bored sitting at home. I'm hoping to do this as much as I can um, during this sort of questionable period and we will cross each bridge as we get to it as we do. So um, just wanted to introduce Isla. She's here with me today and we are going to be doing a quick project, a fun project, and hopefully you all have um, the supplies at home where you can do this as well. So um, what we're going to be making today, I like to call fingerprint creatures. Um, these creatures are little characters that I used to make and I still make every now and again if I have to create a quick birthday card or an Easter card or something um, for somebody. And as you can see, they are made with fingerprints. Um, so the first thing that we need for this project is some paper. You can use scrap paper, you can use printer paper if your mom or dad or grandma or guardian has um, any kind of paper will work great. Um, most people do this project with an ink pad. Um, our ink pad is a little questionable right now. So instead of using an ink pad, because they're kind of tough to come by sometimes, we just like to use markers, just any old kind of waterproof, washable marker. You don't want to use Sharpie for this project so much, um, but just any kind of uh, washable marker will work. Um, and then I like to use just a black marker to put in my details. Now I have some special ones here, but you guys can use a Sharpie or a ballpoint pen or just another black watercolor pencil. Uh, marker. I guess we could use a pencil if we didn't have anything else. Something dark would probably work a little bit better though um, for what we're gonna do. So let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is take out a colored, uh, marker of some sort. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use purple. What color are you going to use? Use a blue. Okay. So what I want to do is get to the fat part of my marker. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this marker and actually I'm going to do this on my, on my left thumb. And I'm just going to kind of color in my thumb. Now you might want to ask your parents if this is okay with them because if you guys are maybe sitting on a white couch or something like that you maybe don't want to put marker on your fingers and then get fingerprints all over the house. So um, just make sure everything you're doing is okay and good to go with your um, whoever's looking over you today. So now I've got a nice uh, thumb colored purple thumb and I don't want it to dry out very much so I just want to make sure that it's wet and while that thumb is still wet I'm going to press it right down on my paper. I might even use my other finger to kind of mush it. How are you doing Isla? And I pull it up and there's my thumbprint. Okay and it kind of looks a little bit smushy. It looks like a little bit of like a, I don't know, a mushy Easter egg or something. But with that thumbprint, I'm now going to go to my black marker or my black pen, and I'm gonna start drawing some features on it. So 
Any animal really can work with this project. As you can see with the one that I've got here, I've got, uh, I did a little rabbit, I did a kitty, I did a mouse, I even did a little chick. So whatever you guys feel like drawing um, is what you can make. You can make it into a monster or a, you know, a dog, whatever. So typically what I like to do is just put a couple of little eyes on my thumbprints. And I think I'll do another kitty, because I like kitties. What about you, Isla? Mm -hmm. Isla likes kitties, too. So my kitty's going to have two eyes, a nose, and hopefully you guys can see this. And then I'm going to do a little, their little um, mug, which kind of looks almost like, um, almost like a little, uh, like a fish hook. It's just a little curve one way and a little curve another way. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some quick ears on top. Two little triangles work for my kitty there. Let's see, I'm gonna go a little bit closer, okay. We're working out the kinks today, this, since this is our first run of everything. I'm gonna put on some little paws, which again are just a few little doodles on the bottom of our character. And then I'm gonna do a tail. And my tail is pretty much just like a squiggly sort of piece of spaghetti there. And so now I've got my thumbprint cat. So what did Isla make over here? A porcupine mouse animal. It looks like a hedgehog yeah. to me. So Isla made a really cool hedgehog, you guys. That's really cute. So with this project, we can pretty much do as many animals uh, as you want. We can, uh, if we want to do something smaller, what do we do? We use our pinky fingers, right? If we want to do a middle size one, we use the rest of our fingers. If we really want to get creative, and again, make sure this is okay with mom and dad and grandma and grandpa and babysitter, uh, we could take our shoes off and maybe use our toes um, and be sure to wash them off after you put the ink on your toes. So another thing I like to always have is a paper towel and anybody who takes art class with me knows that I make you guys always have a paper towel on your table. Um, so that is our first lesson and we're going to keep it real short today um, just because my battery is running out and I'm not sure how this is all going to go. But I want you guys to stay safe, wash your hands. This is a good exercise to keep those hands washed because there's going to be ink all over your fingers. Um, I'm going to try to do this as often as I can, so please tune back in. My YouTube is House of Hoofy Foot. Please subscribe for notifications. You guys can also follow me on Instagram. And then you can also follow me and also you can message me on Facebook and I would love to see the projects that you guys do. Again, before you do any of these, please check with your parents, make sure it's okay with them. I'd love to hear from you guys. Stay safe and we will see you soon. Okay, see you guys.